welcome and thank you so much for joining me, Alyssa Arundel, for your March 2020 tarot card reading. This is for your sun sign, uh, your moon or even your ascendant. It just really depends on what feels right for you. So feel free to watch uh, the other videos if you'd like as well. And before we get into this month's reading, I just want to let you know that you can download your free three card tarot spread down beneath this video. You can also reach out to me for a one-to-one -one consultation. I'd be more than happy to work with you. But without further ado, let's get into the cards and see what they hold for you this month. Hello lovely Aquarius and thank you for joining me for your March 2021 tarot card reading. I almost forgot what year we were in there Aquarius. So let's have a little look at what's going on for you for the month of March. You know to do this we're going to pull three of these tarot cards to see what a spiritual energy is affecting you and then also one of these energy cards is really going to help us to see what energetic um, influence is surrounding you for the month of March Aquarius. So let's have a look then. So the first card that you pull for this month is the Ace of Pentacles. Wow, what a brilliant, brilliant sign to come up for you, Aquarius. The Ace of Pentacles is very much about an abundance, particularly anything to do with our material plane. Uh, coins, pentacles, uh, whatever you want to call this beautiful, beautiful card, um, is really very much to do with those new beginnings within anything to do with home, anything to do with finance. Um, you know, this card isn't known as the Ace of Pentacles, you know, for no reason. Um, just think of all these sort of coins shining very brightly in your life. I do think for some of you, your finances are really going to fly. Um, you could even be, some of you, the recipient of some kind of windfall, bonus, good news in, in, involving your career. Um, I think from a career point of view especially, you're, you're putting every foot right at the moment. You're really smashing those goals. And I think the people that you work with or work for are really appreciating your efforts. So this could lead to some kind of remote uh, promotion or deal. Um, with this card though, it's, you know, it's still asking you to be a bit realistic, um, not sort of rest on your laurels if you like, uh, because your charisma is really going to be booming this month as well, I feel. Um, and home life, Home life, um, I think you'll be entering sort of a bit more contentment than perhaps you have had uh, of late. Um, it's about really savouring the rewards. You know, you've worked very hard and this is about getting some of those rewards back. Um, if you are single and you're looking to be in a relationship, then I think that somebody could enter your life who could offer you a lot of stability a lot of security, a lot of emotional understanding. I think the one thing that could be lacking from this uh, relationship that comes in is that it might not have the fire and the passion. Um, but it's just really weighing up at what you need at this point in your life, Aquarius. Is it more fire or is it more stability? Or do you really want to walk that middle road? So for each of you, that's going to be a little bit different. The only really word of warning with this card is that, you know, it's really not the time to take shortcuts or overpromise. Um, purely because people are sort of looking up to you at the moment. And so you don't want to be seen to be um, doing that kind of thing. You know, play by the rules in a certain way. You will get the rewards for your hard work. But as cards go for the month of March, this is a fantastic card to come up for you, Aquarius. So the next card that comes up is the Ten of Swords, but it's reversed here. So the Ten of Swords is, you know, a typically difficult card. It it can sort of represent um, restlessness, worry, just feeling a little bit battle weary. But it is a 10, so that does mean it's the end of a cycle. For some of you, it's kind of like you hit this high with the Ace of Pentacles and then things might not quite carry on for that for the whole month. I think certainly the start of the month. Um, the, okay, let's get the bad side of this card out of the way. So things might have to get worse before they get better, in a nutshell. 
This means that if, you know, there could be a bit of anxiety that gets worse before it gets better or, um, you know, just any area of your life, it is sort of like reaching those doldrums and before you can sort of sprout back up like a new flower in the spring. But the good news is you are going to be rewarded. There are happier times ahead. Um, we can all be entertained by dramas, right? That's why we love... That's why TV exists. That's why entertainment exists in general. That's why YouTube exists. That's why social media exists. Because we like to be entertained, you know, from the years of the gladiators till now. We enjoy it. Um, but when the drama enters our real life rather than just our fantasy life, it's not always as enjoyable. And so, you know, if someone around you is causing a bit of drama... Um, they might come across as a bit annoying rather than entertaining. Perhaps you want a bit of quiet time this month and there's someone in your life who's a little bit like a overexcited puppy. Um, and I think at times that could get on your nerves a little bit. They're not being horrible, Aquarius. They're just sort of in their own little bubble and world. And I think sometimes they're not going to be, um tuning in with you as emotionally as you would like um so you may also find that someone around you might be trying to control you by playing the victim and for some of you that that is a little bit more sinister because i think this is an act i think this person uh if this is the case it won't be the case for all of you but for some of you there is somebody in your life who is playing the victim and it's it's not really how they feel they're just sort of doing it to manipulate you in some way aquarius this month please don't let people manipulate your emotions you're on a roll in so many ways don't let this out you know, external drama rain on your parade. You don't have to be nasty to anyone, but just be a bit streetwise to the fact that someone could try and play with your emotions a little bit this month. Um, I don't think it's going to be anything that you can't handle. It's just a little, you know, born in to just be aware of that. But that does not take away from this wonderful card that we got at the beginning of your spread. So we also have the Pope, the um, hierophant here so for some of you uh, this does represent a spiritual organization of some kind maybe you're getting a pull to a certain kind of new modality i heard something um yesterday it's called the gateway tapes i've never heard of them in, in my life and i don't really understand 100 uh, percent what it's about i heard about it for the first time yesterday and it's something that i'm interested in uh learning about more it's um frequency tapes i think that the uh, well from what i read the fbi have used in some ways but i'm not 100 percent sure what they do how they work or how they help but i'm certainly really excited to to read more about this so um you could find that you you know hear about a new modality this uh, month that you're interested in it could be um astrology getting more into that it could be um more into maybe getting some cards or runes or um doing new meditation maybe it's past life regression you know whatever it is i think you're going to be getting excited about something that is quite spiritual for others of you it's not going to be so much about your spirituality it's going to be more about um doing things in a very structured way it isn't the month to break the wheel it isn't the month to be careless or try something that's too outside of the box. Your sign is very unique in that way because a lot of you um, can have that uniqueness, right? Because Aquarians are, are known for being a bit unique and <laughs> a little bit zany at times. But you're also very um, traditional in some ways. So you really do have a juxtaposition to your sign. And I think that's something that's going to be coming through this month. Um it, it, an example would be don't dye your hair a bright color if you're going for a corporate interview you may want to be able to show who you are and at the same time do a job that you love and want to be taken seriously for but they're going to have to be some compromises this month in how um, you want people to view you so 
meet deadlines, get to places on time, be savvy about the people around you and massive rewards can come from this. You may have to toe the party line a little bit. You may have to be a bit more conservative at times this month. But the time for, for all that frivolous stuff will can come later in the year. So a bit of hard work actually could pay off quite a lot of luck for you. I think you're really making your own luck this month, Aquarius. So what energy is surrounding you with this energy oracle card? Okay, the card that comes up for you is community. This is very much the three of cups in my view. Um, I think for some of you, this could be a new home. And number you know, seven here is very uh, auspicious number. It is a number of spirituality as well. Um, this is working together with people in your life. You know, remembering the people that are important, remembering what your goals and dreams are. Um, you're also a sign who's very much that humanitarian. So doing things just for you, um, I think you could do more of. But at the same time, I don't always think it brings you the greatest happiness because you love to share and you love to have that generosity of spirit. And so this month is really a month to share in that community, to share in the joys and the successes that you have and to make sure that the people that you're spending time with are not trying to manipulate you in this emotional way. The best way... Um, I feel what I'm getting from this is if somebody does try to manipulate you in this emotional way this month, just call them out on it. Just just nip it in the bud straight away and say, you know, um, I can see what you're trying to do, but I'm afraid um, I'm not going to be um, changing my mind on this or I'm not going to be pushed into a decision because of this. Uh, this person will <laughs> very quickly jump out of victim mode and into uh, defensive mode, in my opinion. But um, again, it's not for all of you. And uh, it's because this person's dealing with their own stuff at the moment. And in some ways, it's because they trust you that they feel that they can sort of do that but you don't need the dramas what you do need is to be surrounded by like-minded people who are really going to support your vision this month because it is going to be hard work at times but like we said the rewards that can come for that are great so it's well worth sticking with well there you have your march 2020 tarot card reading thank you so much for joining me and sharing this space with me Again, if you would like to have your digital tarot card reading, you can find that in the description box beneath this video, as well as your free three card tarot. But until we speak again next month, take care and stay safe. Alyssa.